a look at the career resume of Lee Stepniak. You can see 10 teams in the National Hockey League, part of that great draft class of 2003, started his career in St. Louis. And uh, very interesting news about Lee Stepniak. He retired in uh, 2019, but on Monday he was named the Arizona Coyotes hockey data strategist. So he joins us now. And we want to dive into uh, what this means. And Lee, thanks for taking the time to join us today. We really appreciate it. And uh, give me, uh, what does this mean? I mean, because like, viewers out there are looking at it and they're saying data strategist. What does this mean? What are you going to be doing for the Coyotes? Um, well, thanks for having me, EJ, I guess, first of all. Um, yeah, I think basically I'm going to serve as the filter and sort of the conduit between hockey operations, all the departments, and the analytics staff. So uh, it was a really interesting idea when it was presented to me by Bill Armstrong and Brian Decord, and um, it checked a lot of boxes for me personally. I wanted to get involved in hockey. Um, I majored in economics at Dartmouth, and I um, always enjoyed numbers and things like that. And for me, it's a great opportunity to learn. And, and at the end of the day, I think I can add a lot of value between merging the, the hockey side and knowing what the coaches are looking for and and analytics, uh, what they can provide, and, and making sure that things line up and, and they're more user-friendly. Stemper, so you said that they came to you. So this was the Coyotes coming to you, knowing your background and your experience in hockey as well academically, and proposed this opportunity for you. It wasn't you necessarily searching them out for it? Um, I, I was talking to teams a little bit, but uh, Bill and I knew each other a little bit from when I was in St. Louis. Uh, he was starting out as an amateur scout, and uh, I just congratulated him on being named the GM. And I uh, got a phone call a little bit later that, that sort of pitched the idea to me and, and asked if I was interested in it, if it made sense. And to me, it was really interesting. And um, I think it's something where you can add a lot of value. Uh, to me, there's a, a place for analytics in hockey. I, I think that at times it seems it's very divisive. You're either pro analytics or completely against it. And I think there's a lot of middle ground that can be found in the middle that uh, adds a lot of benefit. At the end of the day, coaches and management and hockey operations, they want to win games. And analytics is information. If that provides a little bit more information or a little bit bigger margin to win, I think everyone's on board. And it's a matter of just making sure that, that they're connected. There's no disconnect, that, that the information that the analysts provide is usable. It makes sense. And then from the coaches and management, making sure what they're looking for is what's applicable make sure that they that what they want i can clearly articulate to the analysts and make sure that that everyone's happy and everyone's getting the results they want on both sides lee that sounds like a terrific idea because uh you're right i mean there's absolutely a place for analytics in hockey as there is in the other sports information is great everybody wants to win you need as much information as you can get i've always found though there is a little bit of randomness or maybe sometimes a lot of randomness in hockey and i think it's terrific to have someone like you that has played and can be that filter between all this information and again what really makes practical sense in hockey games i get the i get the sense that is really uh, going to be a challenge for you is to figure all that out and, and kind of be that, as you, as you mentioned, that conduit between both sides. Yeah, absolutely. There's um, way more knowledge and, and vast amounts of data that exist that I had, had no idea about before. So that's been an eye-opener for me, just knowing what's out there. And the flip side of that is um, there are parts of the game that are really hard to quantify and, and find the analytics for. There's things that are hard to quantify. You can find proxies. You can find things you think work. But um, that's where I hope to add a lot of value is that when we come up with a, a model or an algorithm or something that, that we think can work, making sure that it makes sense, making sure that it really applies to the game. Because there's, to me, the, a lot of the analytics is very results oriented, where there's a lot of things that go into you, how you end up at that result. Like three different players could, could do things different ways and all end up at the same result. And for me, it's trying to find out why that's the case, why they're all successful, and, and what makes them all successful, and, and how they're able to all do it differently. Now, Stemper, we played together briefly. Uh, I know you're a bright guy. You're always, you know, into things beyond hockey. But when you played, were you into analytics? You kind of were playing at the beginning of the analytics boom, and some information was coming available. Some players want no part of it. They don't care. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to understand it. They want nothing to do with it. What were you like as a player? Did you look at your numbers? Did you know what some of those numbers suggested about your game when you were playing? Um, not really. I think I was sort of um, riding the whole wave of when it started. Um, you know, Chris Snow was the first person to sort of introduce it to me within Calgary. And it was uh, 
he gave me a hard time because they said it was pretty basic, but uh, it was more the data and not him because he's a <laughs> very smart guy. But um, it was simply shots and, and where shots came from and, and where you tended to score goals from and, and where guys that score a lot of goals got out of goals where they score from. And it's evolved. So I'm, you know, I was aware of what course he was. I knew who was pretty good at it, who wasn't, but but taking that data and make it more actionable or, or how it applied to me, I didn't really know. And I think uh, I played on teams where, where analytics was definitely played a big role uh, in Carolina. You know, it's a very analytic based organization. And, and that, as a player, I'm sure, you know, Mike, that, that you're at the end of the chain. So, you know, that information is passed down to management to the coaches and then they implement it. And, and I think that's reflecting the style of play, not so much the, the player getting at the end of the day and, and making use of it himself. But I, I think there's a spot for that too, where, uh, you know, hopefully my role can evolve to to go to players and point things out and, and help them do small things and back it up with data and, and make players better as, a, as individuals too. Lee, before we let you go, I just want to ask, it's been a strange year for everyone. How have you made out and how has your family been during this kind of crazy time in your post-retirement and now as you get ready for something new? Yeah, it's uh, it's been crazy, as you said, for everyone. We're uh, we have three young kids. We have twin daughters who are six years old and a son who's four. And, and thankfully, they've been in school this year in person. But, um, you know, last year doing the homeschooling, I, I have a whole new appreciation uh, for the teachers trying to <laughs> teach kindergartners Spanish and coding and things like that. And um, I, I look at it, I've been fortunate to be able to spend some time at home uh, or a lot of time at home and a lot of time with my kids at a young, great age. And uh I'm ready. I was ready to get back into hockey, and I think this is a great opportunity. And um, I also coached uh, a little bit of high school hockey this year. I'm helping out Freddie Meyer. I'm not sure if you remember Freddie. Oh, yeah. Yep. So Freddie is the uh, head coach, and I'm the volunteer assistant. And uh, it's been a lot of fun with the kids. They're, they're very eager. Uh, they're very willing to listen, and it's been uh, a really rewarding experience. Well, that's great to hear, Lee. And my analytic on having three young children is good luck because it's yeah. a lot of work. All the best to you with the new position and to your family. I'm glad to hear everything's well, and uh, hopefully we'll talk to you again down the road.